Hello, I'm Lee Sales in Brisbane. Welcome to this ABC News special. As you can see behind me, the floods cleanup is continuing here, and tonight we'll be looking at how one community is managing in the aftermath. A week ago, this is what Graceville looked like. It's on the banks of the river in Brisbane's western suburbs, and it's one of the city's worst affected areas. Hundreds of homes below the flood line were partially or completely swamped last Thursday, affecting thousands of people. A lot of residents here lived through the 1974 Brisbane floods as well. As in so many neighbourhoods, the water had barely peaked before the community was quickly pulling together to clean up. And there's people here I don't know that I'm so grateful for um, coming in, giving us a hand. An impromptu operations centre sprang up at Graceville State School and it's here that we've brought together a group of local residents tonight to tell us how they're faring a week after the devastation. Hello and welcome to all of you here. Let's start with Craig and Heidi Lyon. We saw you in that introduction starting the clean up in your place last week. How are you faring a week on? Good. Very good. It's all uh, starting to come back to normal and we're just rebuilding. So we're working really hard and we've had a lot of help. We saw the underneath of, of your house that had been basically, you'd renovated it and it had been completely gutted. What, what about that? What have you been able to do in there so far? We've just emptied it out. All the, all the, everything that was under there is gone and we're just ripping down walls and it's just bare, bare now. This. So clean slate from yeah, which to clean start. Slate. And your mum's been flooded too, Heidi. Yeah, she, um, her place went to the second level and she lost most of her stuff. But, um, but we'll, we'll, re we'll rebuild. And It's been a rough time for your family because, Craig, your sister Julie as well has had her business uh, flooded. You own the local hairdressing salon? I do. So yeah. tell us what's happened there. Well, um, both 